If you ever felt like your screen was just too small for what you're doing, then this would be the answer. So if you think about it this way, the monitor you're using right now most likely is 16 by 9. That's a standard widescreen monitor. This thing is 32 by 9. So it's exactly the same aspect ratio as if you put two monitors together. All right, we're retaking the objective. Let's see how long this lasts. So there's two things that come to mind when it comes to video games. One is the passive sort of peripheral vision thing. You just sort of let it fill your peripheral visions and it really sucks you in a little more. The other thing about playing video games on this monitor is actively using the super ultra width on either side that you could use to your advantage in a game. You could see an enemy on the screen where you would never have seen that enemy before on a regular sort of 16 by nine monitor. Because uh, you, just, you just have extra real estate. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So here's the thing about playing video games on such a wide aspect ratio. Not all games have the ability to fill up all that screen. Um, game developers have to build that into the game. And only a few have so far. I played uh, Battlefield 1, for example. I feel like it's probably a quick fix. We'll see, you know? Uh, another cool thing about Samsung's monitor is that you can hook up two different computers to it uh, and have them be on the same monitor. You can play a video game on one half of the screen and then you can have a YouTube video playing on the right side of the screen. The other use for this monitor, uh, apart from gaming, is productivity. You can just have so many apps on one screen. We're doing so much more with our computers, just more and more and more. Just keep on piling on the apps, piling on the multitasking. People, I feel, have a need for more screen real estate. I can see this being a really useful thing. But at $1,500, it is quite expensive. Maybe look at a cheaper solution, like you could hook up two $200 monitors together and get a much cheaper option if you want more screen real estate. But if you're a video gamer and you have money to spend and you have all the highest and latest computer parts and most powerful computers for playing video games, you may want to look at this monitor. It's really, really nice.